For over two years, Blind Wave has been making cooking with Blind Wave. Multiple recipes over multiple videos. But Aaron has been holding on to his secret. It's time to show something spicy. Something else. Hey guys, Blind Wave here with Cooking with Blind Wave, and today we're doing. Hey, are you using that voice the entire video? Because. <coughs> ah, ah, okay. Today we're doing Ollie's chili recipe. Oh, yes. from the comics. Yeah, it's actually, there is one from the comic book. There's a recipe we're gonna be following, so it's gonna be really fun, I think. I've never yeah. made this before, I don't think any of us have, but no. we all love chili, right? Yep. Right? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Chili! Give me all those ingredients! <laughs> So that's everything you're gonna need for this recipe. I think Eric has learned from his mistakes and uh, is now ready to actually help us make this chili because we were gonna share it with him to begin with. So we'll share. Sometimes he gets a little crazy. We're using um, sirloin uh, chunks in this uh, chili. So we have sirloin steak tips here. Shane's gonna cut those into little pieces with this knife. Yep. So Shane, if you wanna work on that. While he's doing that, Rick is currently looking through and getting our measurements for the uh, seasoning and spices and everything that we need. What are the measurements? So we're gonna be using two teaspoons of cumin, two teaspoons of paprika, a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, because we like it hot, right, Rick? <laughs> um, we'll also be using a teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper, one and a half teaspoons of salt, and then half a teaspoon of dried crushed basil. We'll be adding some other stuff later on, including the green peppers, the onions, the garlic, and all that. But for right now, we'll measure that out. We'll get this steak here cooking in here. I'm gonna start getting this pan hot. And we're also gonna add a little olive oil. We will use this, which we got from our nice friends at Blind Wave. Yes. Which one sent this with Darcy? The Wave Riders? Because we're the friends of Blind Wave. I ain't getting shit. Oh, friends of Mailbag. Oh. We add a little olive oil to the pan. We're gonna let this start heating up and getting hot. And then we'll add our steak into it. We're gonna brown our meat. Right, Eric? <laughs> All right, Rick is getting us some pepper. It doesn't have to be exact, exact, but since we've never done this recipe before, we're gonna try to stick as close to this recipe as we can. I've made chili before, but I've never made this recipe. Ollie's chili. And actually, recently in the uh, Arrow uh, TV show on CW, they he actually made some chili, mm -hmm. and then we had it linked to us, I think, from the comic books. Yep. His recipe, which is a great little. Uh, I love the scene. All right, so we will. Start tossing in some of this meat, let it start getting brown. The, re the recipe itself calls for about a pound and a half. About a pound and a half, but we're gonna use two pounds because... That's what we have? Okay. I don't wanna waste half a pound. Plus we like meat, right? Yeah! Who doesn't like protein? Mm -hmm. Now if you don't like meat and protein, you probably shouldn't make this dish. Damn it! He leaves them open? I All right, now also in this recipe they do call for like the California uh, chili powder and hot New Mexico chili powder, I believe. And Gerholt. Yeah, Gerholt. Gerholt chili powder. We can't find those around here. So we have a few uh, other types of chili powders as well as we got Ohio chili powder, West Virginia chili powder, and Lowell chili powder, and we, we just took that, we took that out, but we ain't gonna put that in the mouth. Anyway, we the, you saw the recipes that we are using with the yep. ingredients list, so we have a few different chili powders. If you have those other ones nearby, then use those. Uh, I know you can also probably order them online. I saw that they ship out in like 24 hours, but we didn't plan that far ahead. No, because Green Arrow improvises. Sometimes things happen, you gotta act now, baby, right? Don't call me that. All right, Rick, how are we looking on the spices? Uh, three-way. Three-way. Ménage toi. Eric, Shane, don't you guys love that chili three-way at Steak and Shake? Chili uh, three-way? Right, isn't that the one with spaghetti and stuff? I don't I mean, I'd rather have the regular chili than the chili. I don't know if I've had it, but I've always wanted to go to Skyline and try that. What do you guys think about having spaghetti and chili together? 
I mean, I'm for experimentation. Yeah, I, yeah. Skyline Chili does it. I heard it's great. I just haven't had it. Seems weird. The one time I had it, it was frozen, like at a grocery store. It wasn't the same. Mm. You ever have chili on top of like, it's like sweet nachos? Mm, I've had chili on top of a hot dog. Well, that's just not the same. Do you ever uh, have peanut butter sandwich with some chili? Oh, I had a buddy who grew up uh, doing that, so I started doing it. I've done it. Have you ever put bananas on a pepperoni pizza? I've done it. Have you? Yep. I don't know anyone else that did that. Why did you do it? Uh, banana. What? Doug, was it really Rick? Yep. That's why I did it. it was good, Doug. Don't do it. This is why we're best friends. Bananas <laughs> on a pepperoni pizza? All right. Mm-hmm. Things are getting nice and brown. Right, Shane? Mm-hmm. Yes. Just how your dad likes it. That was the opposite, but yes. Oh. <laughs> so there's our spices, right, Rick? Yep. All the ones I mentioned previously, the cumin, the chili powder. Now, like I said, the chili powder is a little different than the recipe itself, which we'll post a link to that on Twitter or something, too. But Eric, just kind of scatter it and pour it into there, and sprinkle it in there, whatever. Just get all that seasoning into there. So once that gets brown enough, we'll need to drain the fat. Yep. No. And then we need to chop up the onion and the green pepper. Yeah, so if, once we get these in here, I'll manage the meat. If you guys want to work on, we need to mince uh, onions and garlic and chop a green pepper. Ooh, it tastes, smells, mm, mm. And my eye itches. No! This is already minced. That's good. We already have some minced garlic. All right, how small do you want the, the, the peppers? Pepper needs to be chopped. So just kind of... You want the other meat in there? Yes, go ahead and toss that in there. I mean, it doesn't have to be like super tiny or anything. Sure. It doesn't have to be minced. That, like that can be fine. All right, now mincing that is going to have to be really fine. So it needs to be as fine as you can make it. So you guys cover your chili with cheese, like a mountain of cheese. I do like cheese. I've been known to do that. It depends on the taste of the chili. Mm. Rick, do you like chili? I do. I do like chili. I I like cheese, but if you have bad chili, you can cover it with some cheese. It makes it better. Most chili I know is usually kind of spicy. Here, well, put all that on this. Maggie's not allowed to use chili powder or any sort of peppers. What? And we also have to use mild beans. Mild beans? You make like a gumbo. It looks like a chili. Those those beans are mild. Not not mild enough for you? Nope. They don't taste like (laughs) They're not spicy. Enough. You mean kidney beans? Well, it's not so much the spiciness as it is what it does to my gas. Gas uh, gas Yeah. Because see, there's a fine line between, like, you can start getting some kind of like gumbo stew kind of thing going on, or you can start getting some kind of chili. It looks like a chili. You just have to. It tastes like a chili without the chili. I think gumbo usually has like a pasta, doesn't it? Uh, but I usually like make a, something. Uh, well, I mean, chili. normally they have rice. You guys have had our chili before. Have I? I brought it in. Yeah, they brought it in. Yeah, corn in it! I loved it. What was that? It was weird. It's fantastic. So, chili. That was the thing that confused me the most. <laughs> I was like, what's this corn? I was, corn and, I was chilly with corn and mushrooms in it before. I usually don't put crackers in mine. Really? No. I don't always. It depends. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. At like Steak and Shake, I love their little oyster crackers in my chili. But steak and shake. I've never had their chili. Really? I love it. Oh, yeah, Steak and Shake. Yeah, I had some Eric's like, chili. There. <laughs> Eric's chili, okay. He made it. He always likes the first to get chili. You got chili? I want the, I want the chili. I love chili. I know you. He's talked about chili for like two weeks. I don't know why. No, he's they keep out. talking about chili. Who does? Television shows. You keep bringing it up. <laughs> no, you bring it up. They didn't put one in Black Lightning. There's a dead donkey. Well, well, I'm chili. Like a, the guts look like chili. My Uncle Ernie snored so loud that even upstairs in my bedroom, when they were in the basement, his snoring can be heard as loud as sleeping in the same bed with Eric. Now, this half Eric... Eric's snoring is loud. It is so... It was so loud. If, if Eric was loud, he'd be yelling. I can feel the rumble. Who? You. Not anymore. Me not anymore. You got one of those masks? No. Sleep after your mask? Just lost a lot of weight. We had to turn off help. all it's the my car dad. in the garage. Wait, it stopped your snoring? Yeah. Well, what was that it? How was your... Just, I mean, just my like, neck. I don't know. Yeah. How's, it, how's, it like a, yeah. how's, your, how's your tummy making you snore? I don't know. What was making me snore the first time? I don't know. Something wrong with your fucking mouth. <laughs> that was fixed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This half of the onion we're going to save. We'll put this into here soon. We're going to save this. We'll actually kind of chop it up and make just kind of diced onions to put on top of the chili. Yeah. There's a lot of spices in there. I All right. Leave it. This. Who wants to vote? I mean, who who wants to leave in this? I say follow the recipe exactly. I I, go there. I say leave it in. What do you say, Gal? It's lean meat. There's not a lot of fat in it. Exactly. Anyway. I would say leave it in. What's up to you, Aaron? Damn. <laughs> well, guys, 
We have a recipe that we're following. We have a poll on Twitter. are going to leave it in, because that's what I want to do, too. Yeah. Yes. I don't know if we have a corner or anything. It'd be too hard. It'd be easier just to not do it. <laughs> the way of all superheroes. The easy way. This is no longer I saw like a whole pound of shade thing, and you literally... You pointed at it, Shane! I know, but I was like, shit, okay, I didn't see that. This is no longer an accurate representation of the artist's vision. Oh, there is one right here. <laughs> Shane. All right, well, we got one right here. We'll do it. We'll do it. We're going to drain this fat. Why? Because I found that. That's going to make it much easier to drain it now. It's the recipe. It's the recipe. If you weren't here, it wouldn't have happened. Guarantee it. I didn't see it until you pointed it out. There. Yeah. 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 You pointed it out. I said you said something. You All right, pointed. enough. All right. That in the onion. Eric, onion. Rick, get the garlic prepared, please. Okay. I forget how much it needs exactly. I forget too. I'll look it up. Taste. A cup. Nope. Uh, <laughs> two lot. teaspoons of oh. minced garlic. Yep. Yeah. It's a cup of minced onion. So we're switching into this pot here because pretty soon we're going to be letting it simmer and sit for a while. Okay. So it's going to be going to be much more in it than maybe that pan could have handled. So we're going to try to make sure we have enough room here with this big old pot. That's it. We're going to add in these green peppers. We're going to add in. Two one. of these. Um, uh, heaping. Four. Heaping, Rick. Four of these. Okay, yeah. Two. Four. Do one more. That's it. So now we have garlic in here. We have green peppers in here. We have onions in here. We're going to stir them up, get them all nice and soft and cooked. Next, if you guys want to open up the cans of yeah. tomato sauce and diced tomatoes. Right here. You want to put in the Tabasco sauce now or in each individual dish? Is this okay? <laughs> well, yeah, just... Damn it. Yeah. We'll add a little bit of Tabasco sauce now to let it cook with. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But I'll try not to go too heavy on it. They're not and sharp. Then we can add more for it. We're pouring in. Uh, hang on one second. We'll be pouring it in here with all the others. So I'd like the onions and the peppers to also have a little seasoning on them. I know the meat is finely seasoned right now. Just one can of tomatoes? Uh, it's going to be all, it should be all, how much is that? It should be all of it. It, okay. says it calls for 16, but. Do that. We'll do one can of diced tomatoes, the water, the tomato sauce. Half a cup of water. <gasps> and tomato sauce. We're also going to put in some Tabasco sauce. Sorry, Rick. <laughs> I mean, you'd have to put the whole fucking thing in there to be real spicy, Rick. Yeah. I'm going to put some in now to cook in with it, but then I'm going to let us put in what we want later. All right, so we have it in here now. Everything is going to be sitting in here. We're going to let it get to a simmer and just try to let it simmer for uh, a couple hours, actually. We'll occasionally stir it over a couple hours. Um, 10 minutes before serving, we'll add brown sugar, uh, more Tabasco sauce, and we'll add in uh, the beans. The beans. Yep. Okay. We'll be back here in a couple hours, guys, so let it sit, and then we'll, we'll see what we end up with. All right, you guys do whatever. I'm waiting right here. I'm waiting. What? I'm waiting. All right. Okay. okay. We'll see you guys in a little bit. I'll wait for it. I'll wait. I'll wait. It's been about uh, two hours, two and a half hours, something like that. I don't know. It's been a little while. Um, hey, where thought, you been? I thought we already ate. I thought we already ate. Yeah, yeah, Brett. It's close. You, Are you still tired? We're gonna eat. You still tired? We're eating now. All right, so now that we've let it simmer, we eat it. stew for a bit. We're going to partially drain these kidney beans. Did you partially drain it? To what partially? Uh, so we drained one can and not the other. That's about half. Okay, that's right. I'm going to put right. three of these in because this is a, a brown sugar. Of what? A brown sugar. All right, we're gonna add the beans in. And so during the break, you put in some more spices. I felt like Jeez. we may have dumped out some of the spices, so I added a little bit more spices to it so that the rest of the veg vegetables and tomatoes had a little bit of uh, seasoning in there. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna let it cook for a few more minutes with this stuff on. And then... Right there, what about you No. Not yet. No. <laughs> <laughs> that's good, that's good. That's good. That's good. It's like, no! Especially the drops. I bought it. Yeah. Yeah, you right. yeah, cause the panic. So we're gonna give it here about uh, 10 minutes to kind of cook when these beans. Cut more onions and then we're ready. Yeah, if you guys will just, chop just up some onions, on top, they're right? gonna, we're gonna chop up some onions to sprinkle on top of it, which we can then like garnish the chili with more Tabasco if you need to, and then any seasonings that you may want. Sometimes people want a little bit more cayenne pepper, since Rick is... Brick. Cheese or crackers. Um, and then we have crackers and cheese as well to go with So, dice those up. Sugar. I've never it doesn't have to be as thinly sliced. Make it thinner. But you can have it thinly sliced, sliced that's fine. I yeah. love chili. You know what? I remember, uh, I think Eric and I were talking about it. Someone stated in a comment, they don't know what chili is. 
They said we talk about it. Sounds good. They said, what is chili? You guys are always talking about chili. I don't even know what it is, but I want it. Who's hell is, who the hell is that? Know, somebody from another country. What is the definition of chili? Like, I know a chile with, like, an E in it. Beans right? and beef, I feel like, are integral. I think your chili was invented chili. in chili. What? Beans, beef, the country. Some kind of tomato base. Was it the named for what they created? But it's corn a lot of chili. chili. I think it's, it's, I think it's, it's not South American there thing that cracked up feel. north. Chili, a small, hot tasting pod of a variety of capsicum. 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 So, chili is a shortened version of saying chili, which chili con carne, chili with meat, which is what we know chili to be. Contains chili peppers. Spicy stew containing chili peppers, meat, and often tomatoes and beans. So that is what chili. And we also have patience to wait 10 more minutes, right, Eric? My so let's grab onions, let's grab the crackers, grab the cheese, and grab some, and grab some bowls. Please, sir, can I have some? Can I have some more advice, sir? No, not some more, just some. Give Next. Shot. Thank you. What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one thing when you want. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> you bring it up like every cooking with blind way. Damn it, Calvin, try yours first, hurry! Put some onions on it, got some crackers you can put on it. Yes. I want to try it without anything first. Let's try it! I made that rule count to try it. Let's try it. Let's try it! Mm. <laughs> you just did that, how Rick killed you earlier. <laughs> okay, well, what do you think? So how is this? It's really good. I'm not used to the meat being... More of a stringy texture rather than a mm -hmm. chunky texture. Rather than like ground beef. Yeah. So now with that, the recipe that we sh uh, we might have shown, I don't know. The uh, recipe on the ingredient size side of it says to use lean uh, sirloin chunks, but then in the actual like cooking process, it in tells the directions. Us, yeah, it tells us to use uh, ground beef mm -hmm. into brown ground beef. So we kind of just went with it. I've had chili like this plenty of times. Uh, I prefer beef, but this this is really good. Taste of green pepper. I've also had chili like this that had chicken in it instead of beef. It's really good. I've had chili with chicken that's like white though. How are you doing, Eric? Leave me alone! Rick, turn. Just help me. I'm just gonna tell you, I think you're gonna think it's spicy. <laughs> Why? It is quite spicy. Is it? No. It's pretty good. I think it was. I think it's spicy. It's kind of freaking out. Good job. <laughs> I know you more than cow in there. I think it was. Huh? I know you more than cow in there. It's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I would need a cold drink with this, but I could eat this. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. It's actually really good. I like it. I might try. I might try the ground beef version sometime at home or something. Mm. Let's see how that goes. When I can cool it down with the water, Here, it's good. It's not overwhelming. What? I taste a lot of flavors in it. What, Calvin? What? Eric, you got a little something. <sighs> no, you definitely have like a string on your beard. It drips. That's all these chili, I feel like, has pretty good flavor, pretty good seasoning with it. Uh, yeah. It makes me feel like Batman. Thank you, Stephen Amell. It's pretty good, yeah. Uh, thank you, Arrowverse stuff, because that's kind of what started all this. Right? Yeah. We're like, we gotta make some chili now. No, I like it, I think it's really good. I might try more at home. And uh, now you guys have the recipe as well. You guys can check that out. Uh, at least on Twitter. If not, it's probably somewhere in the description, maybe, or something like that. And if you've never heard of chili or had chili, make it and spread it around. Like cheer. Christmas cheer. Mm. Christmas chili. Thank you guys for watching Cooking with Blind Wave. If you enjoyed this, please consider subscribing and supporting us at Patreon. <laughs>